This is the solution to problem 20 in our review packet for unit one. Let's start with the beginning here. This is a ball is thrown vertically upward. Describe what happens to the ball's velocity while it's in the air. So when it's thrown into the air, right, it starts off with a positive, starts with a positive velocity. It starts with a positive velocity. And what's happening to that positive velocity, right? As it's going up, it's slowing down. Right? Gravity's pulling it, so it's slowing down. All right? What happens? At some point, that velocity becomes zero. Slows down to zero. And then what happens? Then it continues slowing down, but now it's going negative. negative and gets larger, right? Gets larger. What do I mean by that? I mean, it becomes more negative. Part B, what is the ball's velocity when it reaches its maximum height? Well, we've talked about that before, right? When the ball is going up, we throw it with a velocity, positive velocity up. It's going to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. When it reaches its maximum height, that means it's no longer going up anymore, and it's turning around to become negative. It's going to go back down. Here we know our velocity is zero, right? That's a key thing. We're going to use that concept a lot, breaking some of our problems up into two pieces. What is the ball's acceleration, part C, when it reaches its maximum height? Well, acceleration, in this case, it's always equal to gravity, right? It's always 10 meters per second squared. It doesn't matter what period of time we're talking about. While our ball is in the air, its acceleration is just simply g, negative 10 meters per second squared. 